Hello everyone, my name is Will Terrell and welcome to this video. These are some of my old sketchbooks from when I was living in California a few years ago. These are a different type of sketchbook for me than what most people are used to for my YouTube channel. Most people are normally used to my people sketching videos where I draw people I see on the street or around town and talk about life. These sketches are sketch notes that I took during services at my local church in Burbank called South Hills. I found a tremendous community there and a wonderful pastor named Dave Stewart. What I loved about their church was it was all based on community and serving one another. I found a running community that helped me overcome my self-sabotage with overeating and struggles with exercise and low self-esteem. I found brothers and sisters that supported me becoming my best self. I even started a sketch group. Pastor Dave asked me to draw a character of him, <laughs> which we turned into stickers that they gave out. I was never much of a religious person growing up. The idea of Christianity really turned me off because of the way I grew up. My father would often describe himself as a recovering Southern Baptist growing up in the Bible Belt in West Texas. He preferred that I found my own path to divinity. There are certain types of Christianity that I found never quite in line with the actual person of Jesus described in the Bible. I always believed that we are meant to be examples of love in the world not simply seeking salvation for heaven in the afterlife. That's the example of Jesus had in his lifetime was being love. And I've always aspired to that, even if I never quite felt like I belonged to the religion that claimed to represent him. But my church in Burbank showed me what it felt like to be a part of a community that loved and served others. Not because of religiosity, but because we see divinity in one another. My time at South Hills Church in Burbank, California under the wonderful pastorship of Pastor Dave was transformative for me. And I found myself taking notes every week, week after week, and feeling a closer connection to divinity than I'd ever known in my lifetime. I've always been a very deeply spiritual person. You've probably seen that in my videos back in the day. I like to serve others, not out of selfishness, but because it's what I am made to do, like a useful instrument happy to serve its purpose. I am love, and I love to be love in the world and with others. Many of my friends are not spiritual at all. Many would even describe themselves to be atheists or of any other type of religion altogether. And it's all perfect to me. I recognize divinity in every person I meet. I love seeing how others experience that divinity from their own perspective which is why I always loved drawing people so much. Whether it's a prince or a vagabond, friend or a stranger, I think that's more like what God is. God is in everyone. There's nowhere that God is not. I'm sharing all this not to proselytize or evangelize or try to convince anyone or convert anyone to my beliefs, nor am I sharing to disparage the type of Christianity that I never quite resonated with back home. I'm sharing this because I've been through a lot, especially the last few years, and these notes and the lessons learned from them have given me great comfort. And if there's anyone out there that may find these notes comforting as well, I am sharing this for you. I've shared sketchbook videos in the past and put them online for people to donate for a PDF version of the entire sketchbook, and I would like to do that for this sketchbook as well, but in the hopes that you would be willing to contribute if it resonates with you. I've been through some challenging times recently in my life. I moved back to Texas almost four years ago to take care of my father when he passed away. It brought up a lot of trauma that I needed to process and heal from in my childhood. The past year I needed to take a break from working in animation and I've spent that time just being a father to my kids while they are still young, as well as healing my own inner child. I've also spent this time developing a new project, something I'm calling Will and the Way. You can find it on my website at willandtheway.org. It is something I'm excited to share more about in the future. 
But a few days before the new year, 2024, I had an accident. I badly burned my drawing hand in my leg and my foot. I'm doing better now. I'm able to walk without a cane and use my drawing hand fully again. But it set me back, both financially and emotionally. I'm hoping and praying I can bring enough money in from the sketchbook and your contributions to get back on my feet. I would also like to start making YouTube videos again. I want to serve my community, and I love doing that with making YouTube videos. But it's never paid very well, and I would like to change that now, so that I may use my life and my talents and opportunities to be a blessing to you and to the world. I have so much I want to share with you, but I need your help to do it. If you're willing, purchase the PDF of this sketchbook with the link at the end of this video. If you're unable to contribute financially at this time, I completely understand. There are other ways you can help. Please share this video, or even better, share something with me, whether it's a message, an email, a comic, or a short clip describing something in some way how I've contributed to your life. A testimony, if you will. I would like to hear that I've made a difference in the world. Please share your experiences of how I had an impact on you. Send it to the email on my website or just tag me on Instagram. I could definitely use your encouragement at this time. Most importantly, I hope you find something in these sketchbooks that is nourishing and uplifting to you. May we each in our own way make this world a better place. I love you, friends, and I am thankful for you. Thank you for watching. Keep smiling. May your days be blessed and your path be guided. May your heart be full and your soul delighted. May the road rise to meet you. May every smile be there to greet you. May your days be blessed and your path be guided.